This is a video about using Photoshop Elements 10 to uh, remove an image background. We'll start here by uh, getting an image. In this case, we'll go to Internet, do a search. And look for images. Look for something interesting. It looks pretty good. Right click, copy board. Now we're going to go to Photoshop Elements. There we will go to File, New. Image from clipboard. Uh, we're going to choose here to use the magic eraser tool. So we'll be inserting a graphic that we just removed the background from. And it's a little larger than what we wanted for this page. Let's reduce the size a bit. Center it on the page. And there we have it. We've uh, removed the existing background, uh, created uh, our own place, and reused this image. So now we're going to uh, crop this image. We won't bother taking the uh, top part of the image off. Uh, then do a selection, uh, exactly the size that we want here. And uh, OK. Now we'll be looking at saving uh, this. So we're going to save this as a PNG. And Give the file a name. And this file uh, we just said as uh, Ferrari. Now, for um, now that we've saved this file, we'll go to uh, use it somewhere just as a demonstration. Uh, one of my favorite programs for this would be Visio. I'm going to set up a uh, blank drawing, and I'm going to set up uh, another page to use for uh, background. This is going to be a background page. Uh, we'll just go here and insert the uh, uh, tango object. Give it a solid fill. And then we're going to uh, give this a little bit of a uh, gradient. So we'll set that up with a uh, gradient type of uh, pattern. Uh, pattern color. It's a little contrasting. Apply that. We'll go back to uh, first page. Set up the background. And so we can see through to that uh, background that was just set up. And finally, we will insert the uh, file that we just saved. You can see there is a Ferrari. It's a little larger than what we want. So we'll just uh, grab the handles on that. And the size we're looking at. This is our. Uh, reused image file with the background removed and now we've uh, added our own background to this file.